Hi. Here I am in my virtual classroom again. Well, actually, it's a real classroom. But right now, everybody is isolating at home. So um, I wanted to tell you how to prepare a trivet. And um, you, you probably think that you just take it out of the package when you get it from Rio Grande or wherever and use it just like it is. But the truth is, is that I can make this little tool a lot more friendly for you. Let me show you how. This is the trivet hack to make your trivets a little bit more friendly to use. You can see here that I actually equate these brand new trivets with a slide because when you first start with your trivets, they have a, a rather wide flat edge on them. And so when you put your pieces on that wide flat edge and go to set them in a kiln, if you tip them even slightly, getting them into the kiln doesn't take very much then these things will slide right off of there, even if it just slides like, well, if it, yeah, you, you've all been there. You guys have all done that where you've got a couple hours into the wire work, you get the wires dry with the clear fire, and you go to set it up on your trivet, you're lifting it into the kiln, and, the, and that piece falls off of there on the way in or the way out of the kiln, and, and you got to start all over again. So let me show you what to do to avoid having that happen. When I get a new trivet, I file the inside edges to a knife, a, a knife edge, a knife sharpness on the inside edge. So when you set your trivet, your piece in the trivet, you um, you can see that um, that piece really sticks there. And um, also, because it's such a small contact area, you're not going to have your uh, uh, trivet sticking to the counter enamel and breaking off counter enamel or making big peaks that you have to then sand off. So um, the way that you want to do that, there's a couple of different tools that you can use. You can use a, a coarse hand file like this. This one is a, let's see, it's a number one. And, um, you know, I use my junky old files to do this because I'm filing steel. I'm not filing silver. You want to file the inside edge of, on both sides to create this knife sharp edge. And another tool you can use instead of a file is this is a knife sharpening stone um, and, that you can buy at a drugstore. And um, these can also be used. The nice thing about a tool like this is that this will also remove enamel if you have little bits of enamel on this already. So for cleaning in between uh, uh, fire rings on your pieces, these are, are very good. Or you can use your aluminum stone and, um, and, and file them off that way. When you are starting with a brand new one, there's a quite a bit of elbow grease that goes into them. Now I'm not saying exactly that I would recommend using a power tool, but I do use a power tool when I'm starting out with a brand new trivet like this because I'm, I, I just want to get the job done. Now if you're going to use a power tool, you're going to of course wear safety glasses, you're going to of course be very focused, because if this thing gets away from you, it has very sharp edges on it, and you don't want this to injure you if you're using a power tool. So when, when you're done filing uh, with either a stone or a file, you'll have quite a bit of, uh, of grit that will accumulate. That grit is also on your trivet, and so you want to make sure and, and wash that off really well and then dry your trivet before you use it to fire because these little iron filings, will, it, if they're in your kiln, they're going to fly around and cause those little black specks that all of us are always trying to avoid. So, um, okay, that's it. That's my hack.